light on. Hello there. So I'm down here at a local woods and uh, yeah, thought I'd come to a different place actually. I've not been here many times, but it looks quite nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, happy 2022. So this is the first video of 2022. And um, yeah, I thought we'd just do a quick video about um, a bongo being a daily driver. Um, this is quite a common question because obviously with a camper van, you don't want to have a huge motorhome sat on your drive for, you know, 10 months of the year, probably even 11 months of the year. And then for that one month when you get to use it, it's quite a costly investment for that. Um, so a lot of people kind of want a smaller van just so they can drive around and do everything else. And this is what I do with my van. Um, so I'm going to go over a few points and see if, you know, it kind of helps you sort of sway the decision if you're thinking about getting a, a bongo or any small camper van. Uh, I think I'm going to make something to eat first because I'm absolutely starving and it's freezing. It is literally freezing, hence the, the woolly hat. So I say we uh, get on with that bit first and uh, get some food. The oil is frozen. see a few flakes of snow just started. Right, just a quick note on the meal. Um, I got this one 
from everyone knows corned beef hash don't know i've not had it for years this is the first time i've ever tried this recipe but this is from uh, a channel called life is too short this is carol and ken so i tried this one i think this is your recipe i think this is how it went anyway i forgot to look again and uh, i just went for it but tell you what for a few simple ingredients this is pretty damn good so i'd give i'd definitely give this a go again highly recommended cheers got myself a cup of coffee now i've had my dinner which was delicious and um yeah, so we thought we'd talk a little bit about whether you think a bongo or a similar size van is any good for your daily commute and is it any good, you know, as an everyday vehicle. Can you get rid of your other car and just have a bongo? Now, I've had mine um, just over five years now, probably five and a half years. And yeah, it's been my daily vehicle for that whole time. I've done all the school runs. I go to the shops and um, I do all the usual kind of stuff. And you know, it's been a fantastic vehicle for that. I'd be happy to have another Bongo as a second vehicle. Um, obviously, it's more than just your daily driver. It is your holiday vehicle and it's a project. It's projects that it's quite good fun to play with. So, you know, it's kind of more than just a car. Like, like you know, cars are a bit boring sometimes. So I find uh, having the Bongo gives me an extra sort of pastime to do. So, yeah, for me, it's an absolute win for a second vehicle. But for you, there might be some questions you might be thinking about and will I be able to answer them? I don't know, but let's have a go. The first thing is the most obvious one, which is the size. Um, you can get vans that look a similar size, like VWs, and most of them are pretty good, actually. The smart, the, the T4s are seem like they're a pretty good size, um, but they, they do tend to be a bit longer and wider than a bongo. So um, parking is going to be the main issue driving on the roads I, I can't see any difference you're absolutely fine but it's only when you get to the end of your journey or the start of your journey it's always about how big your vehicle is to fit into a car parking space and the beauty and the best thing about these bongos is they are basically the width of a normal car the length is probably an estate car length so for me i've never had an issue parking it it's obviously it's a it is a it's still a van so you still got to think about those kind of situations but I don't think there's been a car parking space I've not got into with this vehicle so yeah no problems on that count so the next one which is again this is probably just as big a size is fuel economy so this is where it's probably going to be the downfall a little bit you're probably going to get this is going to be kind of like if you're just doing your daily drive like urban driving you're going to be down to somewhere near sort of 22 miles to the gallon going up to sort of 30 miles to gallon maybe a bit more on the long run if you're really lucky usually around 30 for long runs but driving around town yeah they, they are a bit of a thirsty beast so whether you've got the diesel or the petrol version doesn't really matter i mean i'm slightly better with lpg but it still consumes quite a lot um really it's going to be fairly costly but you've got to offset that against you know not having another a third vehicle if you're a two-car family that is so if you want a camper van and then you have two daily drivers this is still going to be better value because you don't have to pay for any extra insurance or road tax or anything like that so you've got to offset what it is you're going to use it for i would say and if you are definitely going to be using it as a leisure vehicle which i can't see why you wouldn't be then you're going to be quids in because man it's going to save you money in different kinds of ways for example for me when we go camping and we go on holiday the way we've got it set up at the moment is the fact we can stop places we can cook food so you're not having extra expense on the way so having the ability to cook anywhere like if you're going out for the day even when you're on holiday you've got your cooker and you can take everything with you and kind of use it as a little mobile catering sort of base really you know like if you're day out of the beach it's amazing because you could just got cups of coffee whenever you like so you will save money but yeah fuel is the biggest issue and it, it does cost a bit but i think you know there's other vehicles that cost just as much to run but if you can get over that hurdle then man it's a, it is a really good daily driver so another really good practical use of the bongo is if you're going to like places to pick up really big bits of furniture or if you're going to a place like b and q and you're picking up big long lengths of wood it's perfect you can just open up the boot lay the seats down 
and then you can just slide anything in you want and it's a uh, it's perfect you don't have to rely on anyone else and for me it's a really big plus point um it's only that's obviously only occasional things that you can do that but it's still there still an option isn't it yeah I, d I definitely think there's so many uses to a van when you don't have a van you realize how much you need a van sometimes you think ah oh, that ease of just doing those simple things so another plus point for me for having a bongo is i go bike riding i should go out a lot more but i don't at the moment um feeling a bit lazy but i think in this year i think i'm going to get out on the on the mountain bike a lot more so i've got the bike rack at the back um so it's a it's a really good base for doing that kind of you know sports activities i've seen people with roof racks that they put kayaks on the top so great for your surfboards but um yeah bike on the back you know, you've got food in the inside the van, so you've got somewhere to come back to, get changed. And I think that is so, so useful. It's those things that make this kind of size camper van just perfect. Um, so some things that you might want to consider is to keep the van in tip top condition when, with regards like the mechanical side of things, obviously in the body work, but really mechanical side of things, you put a lot of miles on it just service the vehicle a lot i mean i service it now i service it myself it's a lot easier if you look back at a video i did on how to do an oil change so that's a routine i'm getting into and do it more frequently and that's that's the way to preserve the bongo keep it going for as long as you need it because you like the vehicle because it's a fun vehicle and you kind of like in, almost emotionally invested in it you kind of want to do it so i think that's a that's a good thing then you're just going to cherish the bongo and just keep it going for as long as you possibly can so I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, got a recipe in there as well, which is pretty cool. I keep meaning to do more cooking videos, but uh, I just keep forgetting to be honest with you. I've got loads of videos coming up this year. Um, I've got a ton of stuff to do. I, you know, it's just getting out to do these things. You know, I've got to fit it in alongside work and everything. But yeah, thank you to everyone who subscribed over the last year. And um, let's see what 2022 brings. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.